In this video, we're gonna talk about DCA, Dollars Cost Averaging, and how you can make millions using this strategy. Dollars Cost Averaging is an investment strategy in which an investor divides up the total amount to be invested across periodic purchases of a target asset in an effort to reduce the impact of volatility on the overall purchase. Yeah, that's the definition. So let me tell you guys exactly what DCA is. All right, all right, so the first way, the easy way is for you guys to just buy into a company no matter what the price is. If you, if you buy the same company every single week, every Monday, no matter what the price is, that is dollar cost averaging. If, if the first week you buy this at $100, the second week you buy this at $80, so it went down, third week is back up to $90, fourth week is at $100, you are buying into this company no matter what the price is, even if it's above the price that you originally bought it at you are buying into this company no matter what the price point is and statistics have shown over time if you buy it into a company consistently no matter what the price point is you are going to make a lot of money in the future the second way that you can use dollars cost averaging is just trying to buy the dips so you're buying anytime that say you enter a price point is when a market takes a major dip so that is another way to dollars cost average now so if you bought one share at one hundred dollars and then it goes up to one hundred fifteen dollars one hundred twenty dollars and then two weeks later it shoots down to eighty dollars then it's below the original price point that you bought it at and if you're believing in this company you're going to pick up a lot more shares at eighty dollars if you was willing to invest into this company at a hundred dollars you're even will more willing to invest into this company at $80. So you'll pick up a couple more shares at $80. It'll eventually go back up to 100, 110, 120, and it drops all the way back down to 100. You pick up more shares. So that's another way people with dollars cost averaging is that when the market corrects itself and it has a major drop, you pick up a bunch more shares every time that the market has a slight correction or a little crash, you wanna pick up more shares. So that's the second way that you could dollar cost average your price point on a company that you believe in don't dollar cost average and keep buying a company that's steadily going downhill if you don't believe into that company only dollars cost average if it's a company that you believe in and the third way is for traders swing traders day traders let's say you bought one company at $100 and you wanted to take a 10% profit so that's uh, you want to sell at $110 to make $10 on that one trade so if you bought at $100 and the price go down to 90 you pick up another share at $90 now you're bringing down your dollars cost average on the average price that you're paying for that company so now you have $190 invested so all that company has to has to do is go back up to $100 even and you'll make your $10 profit and you don't have to wait for that company to go all the way up to $110 because you got one share at 100 so if it goes back up to 100 that's break even and you bought your second share at 90 so I mean it goes back up to $100 that is a profit of $10 and you made your $10 profit on that trade and today I'll be talking about two different investment strategies those being dollar cost averaging and value averaging so with dollar cost averaging versus value investing so with dollar cost averaging this basically basically and i'm kind of just breaking this down as simple as i can dollar cost averaging involves putting a certain set amount into your portfolio at a certain time so for example if you wanted to invest into some sort of stock it doesn't really matter the price of the stock because it's a big part about dollar cost averaging you would put in let's say one thousand dollars into that stock four times a year so let's just say every quarter you would put a thousand dollars into apple and regardless of the price you would continue to put that amount into it because you think it's a strong stock you think it's a good long-term buy and this is definitely more of a long-term strategy but with value averaging this is a little bit different so rather than looking at just simply just depositing the same amount into a certain stock and into your portfolio at the same exact time with dollar cost averaging you are more likely or you're at least trying to invest into a stock and buy it at a lower buy-in point but you still are regularly investing in that stock. So rather than investing $1,000 four times a year, let's say the first amount you invest is $1,000 and then the second amount, the stock drops down like 10% in that quarter, then you would invest a lot more money, but still at the same time, usually with value averaging, you do have a set amount you wanna invest like per year or per quarter, but you're going to invest more or less based on the movement of that stock. So talking about which strategy is better or which strategy is worse. 
I think they're both really good strategies. Uh, I don't think you could really go wrong with either of them because they focus on long-term investing. They focus on just simply putting money into your portfolio and into your, the stocks you want to buy, which is hugely important. A lot of people forget about that part. Uh, you definitely need to deposit money into your portfolio to keep your portfolio growing. And they're just focused on averaging, you know, that stock price either down or up. So with dollar cost averaging, I kind of like it because it's very laid back. It's very, um, you know, you really don't have to do a lot of work besides the initial work of finding the stock you want to invest in. And in my opinion, it's a really good strategy for someone who doesn't really feel like paying attention to the market that much, but knows good companies to invest in and they want to continue to invest in those companies. While value averaging, it does require a little bit more work in my opinion. So with this, of course, you have to somewhat try to time the market, which I don't think is a good idea but this is probably the safest and the best way to time the market because in a way you are trying to time it, but at the same time, you're really not because you're putting that money in regardless. You are just trying your best for when that stock price gets lower to put more money in. Good day, fellow investors. How to buy stocks in a volatile market? If you have some cash, when to deploy it, spread it over 12 months, or put the whole lump sum in immediately. So let's say you've got $100,000 that you received this morning. Now what to do? Should you invest immediately all the money or should you spread the investments over 12 months? I've gone to Vanguard and they've done the research. So a lot of research has been done. No need to spend a lot of time on it, but you have a systematic, the dollar cost averaging investment where you invest over 12 months and if you invest immediately all the money and they have made the analysis from 1926 to 2015 in the United States, United Kingdom and Australia, there is a 68% chance that you do best when you invest it all at one go and a 32% chance that you do better with dollar cost averaging. So when you start investing, let's say seven out of 10 times, you will be better with a lump sum. Three out of 10 times, you will be better with a dollar cost averaging strategy. Thus, it is up to you whether you want to bet on the odds of seven of 10 or three of 10. As we cannot time the market, we cannot know what will happen in the market. Lump sum, seven out of 10 odds of doing good, or dollar cost averaging systematically uh, investing over a period of 12 months, three out of 10 you do good. I think this gives the answer, 